This is special cases. For this example, we're using the number 206 squared. I'll be working with the students to help figure out how we can represent the zero in the tens place. We've laid out 200 plus six units. Numerically, we can express that as 200 plus six. We'll start with the distributive property. We have 200 times 200 or 200 squared. That equals 40,000. Next, I would be going from my hundreds to my tens, but as the 10 is a zero, I'm going to represent that with a dark colored ribbon. That just blocks out that 10 column and holds the place for the tens. So we go back to the hundreds. We have 200 times six, which is 1,200. We can represent that with 1,200 pegs. Next, we would be going up to our tens place. And again, we'll be using a dark colored ribbon to hold the place for the tens. So we can go up to the units now. Six units times 200 is 1,200, represented by 12 red pegs. And then we take our units times our units. We have six times six or 36, and that would be represented with 36 of the green pegs. We'll finish up with our 36 green pegs. This finishes our squaring of 206. We can see that if we look along the bottom edge. We have 206 with the ribbon holding our place for the tens.